everyone and welcome back to my channel so this is going to be another family grocery haul and meal plan for the week ahead so if you want to see what we bought and what we're eating then keep watching so before I get into this video, as per the CMA guidelines, say this every time, I am required to tell you that I have worked with Tesco recently, however, if you are a long term follower and you've watched these videos before, you'll know that we shop at Tesco every week anyway and all of our shopping is purchased with our own money and this is not an ad. Um, I hope you don't mind me saying it every week, I just want to do it by the rules. <laughs> also, I have a little helper with me today in this video in the form of Stan, so fingers crossed that he's not too noisy so you can still at least hear everything that's going on. But that time didn't go very well because he was playing with Mark's alarm clock this morning and set an alarm without us knowing for 10 o'clock. So <laughs> put him down for a nap and he was asleep for about half an hour until he woke himself up. I don't know if he had plans at 10, who knows? Who knows, but he is here. But anyway, I'm rabbiting on. Let me show you what we've bought for the week ahead. So first up are some cleaning bits and I took a risk and it paid off. So if you watched my favourites video recently, you'll know that this is my favourite Sephora at the moment. It's very berry and it really reminds me of the YSL baby doll perfume from when I was younger. And I saw that they had like the special um, big boxes of Zaflora online but you couldn't pick a scent and I knew that the two specials at the moment were very berry and zingy lemon and I took a risk and it paid off because I've got the one that I wanted so yeah I'm really pleased to have that because it smells amazing. I also picked up a duck fresh action gel tropical sunshine and then a flash bathroom because I just love the smell of this and it does a really good job as well and it's only a quid which is handy. Then over here I have two packs of these roti chapatis by Nishan. These are a lot cheaper than any others that you can get in the from Will food section and it was two for £1.50 if I believe. Like I think that I've got that right. So I'm going to probably freeze one pack of these and then use the others because they freeze really well. I have some red split lentils and bulgur wheat for a soup that I'm going to do and then I have some korma paste here. Some sun-dried tomatoes and then also some sun-dried tomato paste as well. And then over here I've got some linguine and then two packs of the smoky paste to kids because I find with five of us now particularly as Stan eats quite a lot for his age one of these kits is just not enough not at least to like fill me and mark up anyway so what I've done is bought two and then any leftovers can be used for lunches the next day that was the way I was thinking of it anyway so I got the Tesco version rather than the old El Paso because they were more affordable then over here is all of like I don't know bread and snacks and that kind of thing I've got the usual white toasty because we just think it makes the nicest toast got some large seeded burger buns I got these because well I actually got these from inspiration from my grandparents so hi grandma and gramps if you're watching when I go to lunch at my grandparents sometimes they serve these with like loads of salad and like cuts of meat and that kind of thing and with pate and they're really really nice and light but you still get that kind of carb hit but it's re they're really good they're dead yummy so they're lunch bakes flatbreads the salt and pepper ones are good for like dipping or with soups or putting pate on like I said and I really like them so I thought I would give them a go so thanks for the tip there grandma i have some meridian peanut bars that are mark's fave i've got some self-raising flour i just got a small one because we don't really have the space for the massive bags even though they're cheaper because we're really tight on cupboard space in this kitchen we have some bunny bites and then these were on offer and i've had these before but they're the blue corn tortilla chips and i really really liked them so i saw them on offer and i thought i'm going to pick them up as a treat because it is the bank holiday weekend and then the only frozen item i got this week were these garlic bread slices so i can stick them in the freezer and take out like how however many I want which is quite handy and then everything else in a very cute baby is over here so let's get started on this side I have some Maris Piper potatoes I have some Jersey Royals I got some tomatoes on the vine because they're still on offer some baby plum tomatoes two packs of the Nightingale Farms peppers because they're the cheapest ones and I need those for a recipe this week I've got some red onions and it cost me 45p for four I've already got a couple left in as well so that'll do me fine I've got some basil, flat leaf, parsley and coriander here for various recipes and a aubergine which we don't cook with a lot so I'm trying to like push myself out of my comfort zone and use ingredients that we haven't used for a while. I have some rocket here, two lemons and two limes, they're like 30 pence each if I remember correctly and then a large garlic as normal. I have five 
bananas here I think and they cost me 71 pence and then I have some raspberries and some strawberries just because I had to do an Aldi run earlier on this week for extra fruit anyway and um, we don't need that much more. I have an extra large cauliflower and a broccoli at the back there and also a cucumber. Got two avocados and then over here we've got some low fat coconut yogurt, not percent fat Greek style yogurt. I have some sour cream. I have a very chatty baby as well. Are you talking? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> I have some Pilgrim's Choice Extra Mature Cheddar because that was on offer. Some Creamfields Greek Feta, unsalted butter and brie as well here. I got some more of those fresh cut chips because they're just dead handy. I have some of the Creamfields from Arch Frey because they're nice and cheap again. This coleslaw was on offer, so it's the finest coleslaw, and I think it's like the crunchy, chunky one. And that's for a recipe that I'm doing. I have a whole chicken here because I'm actually going to do fajitas with a whole chicken. I figured I would rub the spice mix all over the chicken from one pack and then use the other spice mix from the other pack to do all the veg with. And then any leftover chicken can be used in sandwiches or salads or leftover wraps the next day. That's my theory anyway because it only cost me £3.41. Sorry chicken, I'm bashing you to death there, aren't I? Um, yeah, £3.41 for an entire chicken and I wouldn't even be able to get like that many chicken chicken breast for that price so I'm hoping that will do a good job. <laughs> I have some, oh this is new, lamb carrot and onion mince with 18% fat lamb mince and meat and veg so it's like a two-in-one type thing. I'm using this for a recipe but I thought it might just be that little bit healthier and a nice way to get extra veg into the kids. It could be absolutely rank but I'll let you know on that one. <laughs> I have some Matheson's pork sausage, smoked pork sausage. This is really handy to have in or pasta dishes as you can see here you know like if you're just coming home from work or you've got like kids clubs on and stuff and you don't know what to make them you need something quick you can just cut this off in a pan with like some onion and basata and garlic and make a nice pasta sauce and then cut some pasta and then you're good to go so I thought I would get that out in because it's on offer at the moment and it would be handy to have in the fridge I also got some Wiltshire cured ham and then some Wiltshire cured bacon as well this bacon here is for bacon butties and then this bacon over here is for a recipe this is just unsmoked streaky bacon from Woodside Farm and I'm going to use that in a recipe instead because it's not like you know it doesn't need to be amazing bacon then I've got some pork and honey chipolatas here as well for a recipe and then two packs of these pork belly slices which were only $1.99 each then because I nipped into the co-op on the way back from the school run before I thought I would quickly show you what I picked up I wasn't sure when our Tesco order was going to arrive so I went in to see if there was anything that we could grab for our lunch today because Mark's working from home and we don't have much in and I saw these which are chicken mini fillets which were reduced down to 237 and I'm going to do those in a wrap with some garlic mayo and some salad we've got a couple of tomatoes in and we've got all the other food in now as well so we'll be fine then we also have some sparkling elderflower presse um Mark's mum and sister are coming to visit tonight and and they're not going to stop for food because they want to get back but I thought I would get some like nibbles and stuff and obviously because Ali's driving I figured I would get this in case she fancied like a refreshing drink that was a bit more fancy and then I've got two packs of the Indian naan chip selection because I love these and I am going to put those out when they get here and then I've also got some fruity flapjack cookies and chocolate brownie bit bites as well to have when they're here and then finally they have a pizza special co-op food magazine which i'm going to read this weekend i think with a glass of wine if the kids let me so quickly on to the meal plan so friday tonight i'm going to do some homemade pizzas for the kids because i have some frozen dough left in our freezer actually i need to get that out and defrost it so it's a good reminder and i have other ingredients in already that we can do a pizza with so that's us all sorted because they have jiu-jitsu and then obviously mark's mum and sister are coming round and then we are probably going to get a takeaway because then it will be a lot easier and we can just enjoy their company and like sort that out later on on saturday i'm gonna do roast chicken fajitas as i've mentioned we've not had fajitas as a family in ages and the kids love making their own wraps it's quite a nice one to like put it all in the middle of the table and share with so that's the plan for that and i'm gonna make some homemade guacamole with the avocados i've bought and then i've got salsa in the pack and i've got some sour cream and cheese as well and i'm hoping that using the whole roast chicken is like a good idea fingers crossed it works on sunday i am going to do sausages with cheesy pea mash uh, i saw this online on the tesco website i think it was like a jamie oliver recipe and i didn't do that recipe in the end because i wasn't interested in the rest of it but he mashes up peas with 
the potatoes and then add some like cheese in or something like that to add some extra veg in and get your kids eating more veg my kids are actually all right with eating veg but i just thought i would try it and see if it was nice and then we're going to do some extra veg with that and gravy just because it's like a sunday lunch the weather's not going to be great here for the bank holiday and i thought it'd be nice to have something cozy and warm i might even do some yorkshire puds as well because we have everything in to make them i'll see what the family think and then on monday I'm going to do barbecue pork belly baps with homemade chips and coleslaw. I found a recipe on the BBC Good Foods website and I'm going to take inspiration from that. And then on Tuesday, I'm going to make Turkish peed, I think it's called, or pida. I don't know how to pronounce it. So if you are Turkish or you know what this like meal is called, then please feel free to correct me down in the comments below. Um, it sounds amazing. It's like um, a, like a flatbread pizza type thing, but it uses the lamb mince that I brought, you know, with all the veg in. And I thought it would be nice to try something new. So I'm going to base it on the recipe that I found on the Tesco website. And I'm actually going to make my own flatbreads from scratch because I have a recipe that I like to use. So I'm going to do that because it'll be easier for me because I'll remember it. On Wednesday, another Turkish recipe is a Turkish lentil soup with some bread rolls. I'm going to pick some bread rolls up fresh on the day because they're always nicer when they're fresh. And I just thought this sounds is like really filling and warming and hearty and because Bill has swimming lessons on Wednesdays the kids can have theirs and then we can easily heat it up afterwards as well when like they've gone to bed so that's the plan for that anyway and then on Thursday I'm going to do aloo gobi tray bake with chapati which is another Tesco recipe that I found while I was doing the grocery order and I'm going to use korma paste instead because it's a bit lighter for the kids and then I'm going to top with some coconut yogurt that I've brought and then on Friday, I'm going to do my own recipe, which is a one part bacon and brie pasta. And I'm going to serve that with salad and garlic bread. And that is the plan for the week ahead. I'm really excited about all of these meals because I've been trying to pick some like different things that I've not done in a while or like, you know, ingredients that I've not used for ages, like pork belly, that kind of thing. So fingers crossed. It's all very nice. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, but of course I will leave that down for you and have a lovely rest of your day, whatever you're up to. Bye. Oh,